a fellow mathematician to a study whereby we are considering on how to, to solve cubic equation. And in this tutorial, we are going to see how we can solve it by kx factor method. So first of all, uh, let us see the factors of 6. The factors of 6, uh, 6 has these factors plus or minus uh, 1. It was was plus or minus uh, 6. It has plus or minus 2. Plus or minus 3. So, the first thing which you do, it is that uh, you try to, at to attempt to see which of these ones is a factor of that cubic equation. So, the, the first thing, we use trial and error to see which part is a factor of this uh, equation. Let's let's begin by trying x is equal to negative 1. So we equate here to see whether it is a, a factor of that quadratic equation. So we substitute negative 1 cubic plus 6 into bracket negative 1 squared plus 11 into bracket negative 1 plus 6. This negative 1 cubic it is negative 1. 1 negative 1 squared is 1. 1 times 6 is, is 6. 11 times negative 1 is negative 11 plus 6. You can see here clearly that uh, this is 1. Negative 1, negative 12. 6 plus 6 is 12, which is equal to 0. Meaning that x is equal to 1 is a factor of this equation. Now, after that, so it means that x plus 1 is a factor of our equation. Then we, we ask ourselves, which number can we multiply with the x to get x cubic? And it is x squared plus kx plus the last number will remain the same, plus 6. Plus 6. Then from there now, we expand this. So you have x cubic plus kx squared plus 6k. We are equating this, then plus. After multiplying the everything here by x, we are going to obtain that. Plus, multiply everything by 1, x squared plus kx plus 6. So that is what you obtain. We can group the terms with the like with the x squared together plus there is this term and this term we are meaning that you can factor x squared x squared we are going to be left with the k plus one. I am grouped this time with x squared together and I factored x plus the terms with 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 x we have 6x and the kx so we can factor x there so that we have now 6 this 6 plus a k plus 6 this is our quadratic equation now we compare with what we are given there we compare with what we are given so comparing uh, we have uh, s cubic x cubic plus 6x squared plus 11x plus 6. So we compare these two. So we can compare the terms with the x squared, this one, and this other one. We compare the coefficient, meaning that uh, 6 is equal to k plus 1. Comparing the coefficient of x squared there. So... You can take one the other side, so you have 6 minus 1 is equal to k. 5 is equal to k. That is one way of obtaining k. Alternatively, we can compare the coefficient with the x here. So we're quitting. We are going to have 11. 11 is equal to k 
plus 6, this one. So 11 minus, this is 6, 11 minus 6. 11 minus 6 is equal to 5. So K okay, is equal to 5. So you can see either way, you obtain the value of K the same. Now, once we have got the value of K here, now we come and substitute it here. We come and substitute it here. Our K is 5. So we come and write X plus 1 into bracket X squared X squared plus 5X plus 6. We can factorize this further. Of course, this one is equal to 0. We can factorize this one further. It is a quadratic equation. X plus 1 into bracket X plus a factor on bracket X plus a factor is equal to 0. So you ask yourself, what are the two numbers which when multiplied will give us 6 and when we add is going to give us a positive 5. So those numbers is only 2 and the other number is 3. Because 2 times 3 is 6 and 2 plus 3 is 5. So those are our two numbers. So it means that either this one, either x plus 1 is equal to 0, meaning that x is equal to 1, or x plus 2 is equal to 0, meaning that uh, this is negative 1, meaning that x is equal to negative 2. Or this other one, x plus 3 is equal to 0, meaning that x is equal to minus 3. So the solution set can be written this way. Uh, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So that is how we obtain our that is how we can solve this cubic equation using k factor method. The other methods uh, which you can use to, to get your result, you can check in my channel whereby I am made use of other methods to solve the, the same. At this stage, you can decide even to check whether your working is correct by, by simply uh, substituting. Of course, for x is equal to negative 1, we found it is correct. We can decide to, to use this one. x is equal to negative 2. We have x plus 1 bracket minus 2 plus 2 bracket x plus 3. This one should give you 0. So let us see whether it will give us 0. So this is x plus 1. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. X plus 3 is equal to. So any number multiplied by 0 will give us 0. Meaning that X is, sorry, X is equal to negative 2 is correct. For X is equal to negative 3, you do the same. You substitute here. X minus 3 plus 3 will give us 0. All this multiplied by 0 will come to 0. Meaning that this solution of ours are correct. Thanks so much for your time. That is how you solve cubic equation by k factor, kx factor method in these simple steps and you obtain your answer. See you next time uh, as we continue learning other methods of solving cubic equation.